The list of materials for doing a resin casting is quite short. Basically, we have a, a lacquer paint which acts as a barrier coat for the mold and at the same time gives us a paintable surface. We use a two-part fast cure urethane resin which will allow us to demold our castings rather quickly and finish them. And of course the usual mixing cups, buckets, latex gloves, mixing sticks which are required for mixing the materials. When you spray your barrier coat into your silicone mold, make certain that you get a complete coverage. This will lengthen the life of the mold and allow you to provide many castings at the same time. And it gives you an excellent base coat for finishing of the casting. This eliminates a lot of cleanup steps in the final process of finishing a casting. Make certain that you coat the mold really well. We are now ready to pour our first casting into our silicone mold that we've created. We're using a two-part fast casting urethane. It's a very low viscosity and it mixes by volume. This really does a lot to simplify the casting process. Take two mixing cups that are the same size and fill them to the same height with enough material to do your casting. You can take your time with this process right up until the mixing of the casting resin components. Once you've mixed the two components together in the bucket, you need to work quickly, making certain you have a thorough mix. This material is very low in viscosity and will do an excellent job of filling your mold and catching all the detail. When you pour your resin into the mold, take your time starting at the lowest point of the mold and allowing it to fill up over the entire mold surface. An additional benefit will be here that the barrier coat will bond to the surface of the resin. And once the resin has turned white, in all of the thin areas of the casting, it will be ready for demolding. Wait until the resin is completely cured before you demold, however. We are now ready to demold the casting that we have produced. Flip the mold over and begin disassembling of the shell. Work your way slowly around so as not to damage any of the shell components, the rubber or your casting. As you can see, the shell removes very easily from the mold. Begin peeling the rubber away from the casting. Work your way all around the edges of the mold before you start removing it entirely. Once the surface seal has been broken, the rubber will begin to demold easily. As you can see, the rubber just peels away from the resin. Be careful, you don't want to tear the rubber. If you treat your mold carefully, it will give you many castings. Thank you.
Thank you.